Hey friends, in this video I want to talk about the top paid programming languages in 2024 and whether you should learn this or not. By the end of this video you should know depending on your level of experience as a developer, the programming language you should learn. Hey friends, if we haven't met, I am Esteban and I've been working as a software engineer in the EU and the UK now for quite some time and I'm here to help you land your first developer job. Recently, the 2024 Stack Overflow survey was released and developers around the world revealed the top paid programming languages and which of these are most sought after. According to Stack Overflow's survey 2024, Erlang, Elixir, Clojure, and Neem are the top four paid programming languages in the industry with median yearly salaries of around 100k dollars. Erlang and Elixir are programming languages used for data intensive applications where there's the need to handle real-time data and where scalability is crucial. Some web applications using these that for sure you know are WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, Discord, and Pinterest. On the other side, Clojure is known for its functional programming paradigm, concurrency support, and ability to run on the JVN or Java Virtual Machine. So basically you use this programming language when you need to handle a lot of data at the same time without performance degradation. A web application you might know is CircleCI. Later, NIM. NIM is used mostly due to how fast it is as it is a low level programming language. And if you are into blockchain, uh, famous web applications is Status, although in all honesty, I didn't know this one before making this video. If you haven't following my videos or if you haven't, well, just know that I have some special love for JavaScript, but unfortunately, this is not one of the top paid programming languages. Actually, respondents said that the median yearly salary for JavaScript developers is around 63K dollars, but we'll show some love to JavaScript later. Don't worry about it. Then in salaries by developer type, we have that in the US, senior executive and managers are at the top. But if we look at more techie roles that you, for example, as a new developer can aspire for. We have that mobile and backend developers are among the most paid there in the bracket of around 180 and 170k dollars and front end and full stack developers are between 135 and 130k dollars. If we check in the UK by contrast we see that developers by type are paid more or less in the same order. Obviously salaries in the UK and the rest of Europe are lower and backend and mobile engineers are earning around 100k and front end developers developers around 82k dollars. So take into consideration that backend developers are probably the ones using more programming languages like Erlang, Elixir or even Scala and Go. It makes them among the most paid developers. Another thing I found cool here was the salaries and experience by developer type. So be mindful here that this is a worldwide median yearly salary. So here we can see in this cool graph within the more techie roles how the developer advocate and the developer experience are the most paid with salaries of around 100 110 and 120k dollars but at the same time being the developers with more experience moving on to the developer types that got more responses in this question in this case backend and full stack developers with around 10 years of experience earn around 63k dollars obviously if you're earning this in the us or the uk they are probably ripping you off so yeah just median salaries worldwide now if we see the salaries and experience by language Erlang, closure and elixir are considerably surpassed in other languages but at the same time we are talking about developers with 12 years of experience approximately we have seen all these programming languages being the top paid but there is a reason for it these are programming languages with a greater learning curve and a bit more niche this means that not many companies hire developers with these skills which means fewer opportunities available how do we prove this well you guessed it let's do a quick linkedin search in the us only for example Erlang came with 43 jobs, Elixir with 290, Clojure with 108, and Neem with 119. As you can see, there aren't many jobs, and there are of course fewer people specialize in these programming languages, which might make you think that there will be less competition. But at the same time, I find it really hard to get a job this way, and let alone change companies after. This is the reason why learning these programming languages is not always a good choice. In my opinion, you should should go more towards where's the market and learn what is more demand, especially if you're a new developer. And this brings us to the next section. Okay, real quick pause here. If you're enjoying the video, support me by liking it and subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's go back. At the top of the most popular programming languages, we have, of course, JavaScript, followed by Python, SQL, and TypeScript from all the respondents. If we move to the answers from the people learning to code, you'll see Python and JavaScript are still 
at the top. The reason for this is that they are both programming languages with a lower learning curve, so really nice for beginners and with most available job opportunities. So Saint Search on LinkedIn throws 284k jobs for JavaScript and 360k jobs for Python in the US only. Python and JavaScript are not only the most famous programming languages, but they are also the most admired and desired ones, except for Rust being the most admired by developers in this survey. So folks, I hope this has brought some clarity in what path you should follow and what programming languages you should learn. If you are a very experienced developer, then go bold and learn any of these niche programming languages if you still have the time for it. Either way, you'll have fun with any of these programming languages. It just depends on what you're after in your software engineering journey. Hope you have enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.